From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. Trust yourself. It's all already in there. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll be needing your services in a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis. You are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But... No physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. And what if I fail? I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. So, go and take care of your mission, and come back and see me once you've accomplished it, Louis. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Well, there's no point in wasting any time. I'm proud to report they've all come over to our side. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis, I'm impressed. I was sure you would succeed. I'm proud of you, my son. Even Johan? How did you manage to do it? I possessed Godoy. You possessed Godoy, of course. Very ingenious of you, I must say. Son, you've accomplished a veritable tour de force. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, we are ready. The conference may begin. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? The Duchess will follow us. She will? Marvelous. But why didn't you tell me we were brother and sister? Now, Louis, don't blame me. I thought, as you were going through a very difficult time, that you had enough on your plate without having to cope with having a new sister. Otherwise, you can be sure I would have told you sooner. I see. So we are going to lose the vote. Father, I'm sorry, I... No, I should never have let you handle it. It's my fault. I thought you would be able to accomplish this tour de force, but clearly you weren't ready. What an idiot I've been. Never mind. Let's forget the conference. Now I have to prepare for what's coming next. Louis, leave me if you will. So, do we agree? Agreed. Let's return to our places now. You're right. Hmm. What were they talking about? 
Louis, a moment of your time, please. Yes, monsieur. What can I do for you? I would like you to hear me out without interrupting. It's in your interest. You are in a perilous situation, and I want to avoid you becoming a laughingstock. What exactly are you talking about? The reason why we are all here. You might think you can win, but... Indeed. It looks that way, doesn't it? Well, think again. You don't know everything. In actual fact, all of Sir Gregory's team is working for Mortimer. If you vote for Holm, Mortimer will never forgive you. And I can assure you that he is taken down far tougher than you. Are you threatening me? Not me, Louis. But you are the only one who hasn't turned against Sir Gregory. Join us. Vote with us if you do not want to feel the wrath of Mortimer alone. Is that all? That's all, yes. I just wanted to warn you. Now you are free to vote where your conscience leads you. Good luck. So, he's the one who's been persuading them all to turn back. I just gotta hope that Holmes managed to pull off his conjuring trick. Otherwise, Bonaparte's right. I'll be the only one voting against Mortimer, and therefore, the only one to face the consequences. My friends, here we are at last, gathered together to close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us, when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You... you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against? The transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Duchess Hillsborough. Four. Duke Manuel. Four. Your Eminence. Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon. Four. Mr. Von Volner. Four. What? Gregory, but... please refrain from interrupting the voting. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. Finally, Monsieur de Richet. What is your vote? My turn. I vote... four. And while they were eating, he said, Truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The votes? are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy, soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. <coughs> I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? I vote against. Duchess Hillsborough? Against. Duke Manuel? Against. Your Eminence? Against. Monsieur Napoleon? For. Mr. Von Volner? Against. President Washington? For. The votes are now cast. So you were not won over by my project. Hmm. That hurts. I... 
I warned you. You did. You didn't want to listen to me. Never mind. It will still come to pass. Traitor! What have you done? You are... You are obliged to respect your... Your word. That is the... The, the rule! The time of conferences is over, dear brother. Let us abandon all this charade. You don't... have... the... right! What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future... Oh, that is, if you have one. Don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He will probably try. Unless I get to him first. But I cannot die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several Help! centuries of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me, what does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead. Try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. You swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses, now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. Oh. Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! He wants to isolate me again. That's not really Elizabeth, it's another demon. Who wants to protect home from Mortimer? On a symbolic level, he should be placed between the two of them. Louis, hurry! He's coming! What's happening? I can sense him. He's here. He's 
trying to get inside me, Louis. William has completely lost his mind. He's getting ready to pull out all the stops. He's going to devour my mind, Louis. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Louis, you are here. I sense your presence. What? But he can't even see me. Congratulations, my son. You have succeeded in joining us. Louis, don't let him draw you in there. You are signing your death warrant if you decide to follow him. I won't be there to protect you. It's over, my son. We have won. A new order can be born. Louis, I am so weak. I can feel him entering. I... I can no longer keep him out. He's... he's coming! He's here. I can. Can you see him? He's here. He's coming closer to you. Where? Louis. I don't want to just disappear. He's inside my mind. I can feel him crushing me. He's just in front of you. I'm so sorry, brother. There's nothing you can do to stop me now. You made your choice. And you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. I have been following you, Uncle. And I shall remain with you. Thank you, Louis. But w what must I do? We must notify the family about what's happening here. Let me enter you. I shall empower you to do so. What? No, Uncle, you can't ask that of me. Louis, it's the only way. I must teach you how. But that's the rule. Never let anyone possess your mind. Louis. Sorry, I can't. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, and despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you, nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost, so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it. Will you? You will be punished! Ah. Uh. I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of him since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything at such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? What about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now. And I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. He was your brother. Why did you kill him? 
He never meant you any harm. Oh, Louis, I, I am exhausted. Let's talk about this later. No, tell me why now. I want to understand. <sighs> Stubborn as a mule. After centuries of trying to convince him, I assure you I had no other option than to do away with him. He would never have allowed me to depose our father. In the past, he had already opposed me, and sometimes very violently. He seemed to you like a man of peace, because you did not represent any danger to him. But I can assure you, he was not. With anything to do with our father, he would be merciless. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah! How dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? On the contrary, Emma, Emily will be able to exist by herself. Once she's changed bodies, you'll finally be able to live your own separate lives. No more resentment or comparisons ever again. You'll be free at last, Emma. Perfect. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, Emily, don't believe a single word of what he's saying. You both braved hell together, united, and that's the only way we can get out of here. Louis is right, Emma. Yes, you are right, Louis. We will not be misled by this kind of manipulation, father. Good. We stand firm. If this continues, Mortimer won't have any hold on us. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You. Ah, Duchess Hillsborough, you are rich, you are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you, let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Emma. Look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on. Look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister. Get him! No! Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over. You've lost. No, no! No, stop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> My son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. You go on. I'll meet you on the wharf. Oh. <sighs>
Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you were right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Mortimer! Is this how you managed to manipulate your brother? Now, now, Louis, don't think you can change the topic so easily. The question remains open. Emma, after everything Emily has been through, a life lost creating this character, do you really think she's going to just let you take over the main role? Emily, I promised you we would find you a better body. I'll do everything in my power to help you. No, 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 stop, Emma! He's trying to manipulate you. You killed her. And now you think she's just going to, what, leave it at that? I know. You will never forgive me. Don't listen to him, Emma. I swear, I mean you no harm. Oh, shit. He succeeded. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no. Trust me. She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance. Damn it, she's yielding. No, Emma. Stay calm, I beg you. You're playing right into his hands. This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with Father himself! It is not my problem! Louis! No! I should never have trusted you again. We've lost everything because of you. Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. All your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Louis! <sighs> you see? You've lost, Father. You... You did it. You did it. We did it. I never really thought we'd manage to pull it off. But we did. Stop! As the son of Lord Mortimer, I order you... Shame, really. You had such promise. You were supposed to be my next vessel. What a pity that you poisoned yourself. Right. Take the lance from my son and finish him off. Then do the same with the other one, and clean the mess up.
In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emily's in her room. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh! oh. <laughs> My son! Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. After you. think you did all that for nothing. What do you mean, Louis? <clears throat> Louis! Didn't he tell you? He was poisoned several days ago. He was condemned. He sacrificed himself for us. What a pity he got the wrong lance. <clears throat> oh, what have you done to me? I hope you aren't in a hurry, my daughter, because you are going to die here. Don't expect any of the family to come to my place in the ether to bring you back this time. Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No, stop! Oh. Oh. <laughs> My son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad! He must be stopped! You can still do something, Louis. Don't worry, son. Father? I am here. You can go in peace. Father? I am sorry. Don't be. You've been infallible right to the end. I am proud, all those years watching you grow into who you are today. But father, I almost... No, 
If your brother had not been so malicious, you would still be with us. I am here now. I am going to take care of him. <gasps> Count on me to... Stop! All of you! Leave now! William. Calm down, Louis. How dare you? Louis? Your own brother. I... Father? Gregory should have never trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here. No, not now. It's pointless trying to run. William. Gregory should never have trusted you. I knew he shouldn't have come here, you evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely. And as you see, there. Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees. Ah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I. No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never, ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. I wanted to believe in you, Uncle. Louis. No. Don't do it. I can't follow you anymore. Louis! He's won. We put up a good fight, but let's be honest. He won. You are just as mad as he is, Louis. You'll end up just like him. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you? You will be punished! Ah, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? You should have chosen your allies better, my son. You mean you plan to get rid of him since the beginning? For years, Louis. Come now. Would I really have risked everything at such a one-sided conference without having a trump card up my sleeve? But... but what about the conference rules? To hell with the rules. From now on, I'm only following my own rules. Things are going to change, you'll see. However, I expect you to stop your childish games and follow me. I gave you time to find your feet with Gregory, but things are going to get serious now. And I expect a little more loyalty from you. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. 
I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. What happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. I did well not to follow home, didn't I? Come on, let's get it over with and join Mortimer in the dining room. Right, now's the time to join Mortimer. I won't be able to go back after... Here we go. Ah, there you are at last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so. Given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore. And I prefer to put it back in its place. I no longer have it. Didn't Monsieur Bonaparte give it back to you? No. So, the rascal stole it from you, did he? Uh, it's not something I'm proud to admit, but yes. He thought I was trying to rob you and that it would compromise the conference. Oh, how typical of him. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I won't hide the fact that I was disappointed that you did not succeed in saving Jacques Peru. You handled that situation very badly. As far as the door of my crypt is concerned, it is a pity that you lost your hand while trying to open it. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. What an unpleasant surprise it was when I found out that you had tried to warn the Purple States against Gregory and me. Did you really think you could succeed? Damn it! He found out about that. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaget. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I, I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son, for you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... what about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no, you won't survive the transfer, but I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus. You can be very proud of yourself. W wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I must make him get closer to me. Come now, don't complicate things. Wait, I have something else you want. Well, look at that. You found it. Hm. Decidedly, you are very resourceful, Louis. You impress me right up to the very last. For Alazif, I am willing to get closer.
Congratulations, my son. You had a backup plan. Well, I did learn from the best. What a pity you got the wrong lance. Hmm? I, I... Holy shit. Leave me. Congratulations, my son. You had a backup plan. Well, I did learn from the best. I've done it. It worked. If only you hadn't <laughs> gotten the wrong lance. I do wish it didn't have to turn out this way, you know. If only you hadn't poisoned yourself. Anyway, don't blame yourself. You fought like the devil right up to the very end. You can be proud of yourself. <coughs> it's not fair! You can't always win, Louie. What a waste. Ah, there you are at last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so, given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You succeeded in telling the Hillsborough twins apart. Even for me, that wasn't an easy thing to do at first. What an unpleasant surprise it was when I found out that you had tried to warn the Papal States against Gregory and me. Did you really think you could succeed? Damn it. He found out about that. But the important thing is that you escaped the worst with Volner, because he could have killed you when you were in the guise of Piaget. Yes, it was a bit touch and go. Which leads me to a chat about what I envisage for you now. You are the chosen one, Louis. The one I've been waiting for all this time. Thank you, I... We are going to be able to become one. Hmm, I... I don't quite follow you. Be proud of yourself, son, for you are the one I have chosen to be my next mortal coil. I... I... but... What about me? Am I imagining things, or did he just tell me to my face that he's going to eat me? Unfortunately, no. You won't survive the transfer. But I want you to know that I only select my bodies from my own children, and that you are the one who has impressed me most. It's far from being my first time, as you can imagine. I didn't think it was possible to find a more promising son than dear Augustus, you can be very proud of yourself. Wait a second, hang on. Do you realize what you're saying? Are you insane? Oh, come, come, my son. Let's not end everything on a bad note, please. Son of a bitch. He's not going to get away with this so easily. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. Don't fight. <laughs> I won.
Louis, I was expecting you. Do you feel better? Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be all right. I wanted to speak with you about what's going to happen next. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore, and I prefer to put it back in its place. I no longer have it. Didn't Monsieur Bonaparte give it back to you? No. So, the rascal stole it from you, did he? Uh, it's not something I'm proud to admit, but yes. He thought I was trying to rob you and that it would compromise the conference. Oh, how typical of him. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. I won't lie to you, I was surprised, and above all disappointed, when I found out you had tried to discredit me with His Holiness by writing a letter to the Papal States. Damn it. He found out. Anyway, now it's time to put an end to things, once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you, through your own faults. But... but I've always been loyal to you. I know you have. More's the pity. I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother, and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. You dirty bastard! That's what you had planned for me all along, isn't it? I was never anything more than the envelope for your next life! Oh, please, do let us try and retain some dignity, shall we? Let's not fall prey to being pathetic. We're better than that. You bastard! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. I must make him get closer to me. Come now, don't complicate things. Wait, I have something else you want. Well, look at that. You found it. Hm. Decidedly, you are very resourceful, Louis. You impress me right up to the very last. For Alazif, I am willing to get closer. Wait, no. Uh... The blood of an ancient. <laughs> I was right, my son. You really are the very best. Now it's time to put an end to things, once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you, through your own faults. There must be an antidote, right? I'm afraid it's too late, at least for the continuation of my project. 
I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. You dirty bastard! That's what you had planned for me all along, isn't it? I was never anything more than the envelope for your next life! Oh, please. Do let us try and retain some dignity, shall we? Let's not fall prey to being pathetic. We're better than that. You bastard! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. You damned... I should have never listened to you! Rotten hell! Don't you worry about it, Father. I'm a demon, and I'm your son. I'll make it through. I don't think so. I'll be honest with you, Louis, though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. But father, why are you telling me this? Not after all I've done, I, I beseech you. Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. But thinking about it, one more thing. <coughs> of course. Anything I can do for you, Father. Give me Alizif, if you please. It won't be of any use to you. Is that a joke? Don't try my patience, Louis. Or else what? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill me? Big deal. I'd rather die than know it was in your hands. Yeah, how typical of you. There you are, at last. Excuse me, I... Sir Gregory's death... Must have upset your plans. Yes, I should think so. Given that you gave him your allegiance. But I did warn you to choose sides carefully. But you didn't tell me you were planning to kill him, you snake. You wish to speak to me? Yes. But before we begin, I would like you to give me back the Holy Lance, please. Now that Gregory is gone, he won't be needing it anymore and I prefer to put it back in its place. I no longer have it. So, at the insistence of Monsieur Bonaparte, 
I put it back in its place. Come, Louis. You, you can't do that to me. Don't be childish, please. Come on. Of course. Here you are, Father. Thank you. Congratulations, by the way. You managed to find the right one among all the copies. I'm impressed. This conference will have been one of the most eventful I've ever known. I'll just have to take your word for it. Before I get to why we're here, you must know that I've been watching you very closely over these past few days. I was impressed by your intervention to prevent Peru from killing himself. You remind me of myself when I was starting out. As for the door of my crypt, no one had ever found out how to open it before you. You committed a serious mistake in proving unable to tell your sisters apart, causing the death of the most promising of the two. I remain proud of what you achieved for me by falsifying that letter to the Pope on behalf of Piaggi. Because I know that was not an easy task. Anyway, now it's time to put an end to things, once and for all, Louis. The poison that runs through your veins has definitively deprived you of the hopes I had placed in you, through your own faults. There must be an antidote, right? I'm afraid it's too late, at least for the continuation of my project. I'll be honest with you, Louis though it pains me. Your body is corrupted. The poison has been spreading inside you for too long. It has already caused irreparable damage. You are of no use to me now. I beg your pardon? You see, when the time comes for me to change bodies, I usually pass into the body of one of my children. The transition is much smoother and allows me to be operational much more quickly. Seeing the good work you had done since your arrival, I was convinced I had found my next body. Could only be you. But then you had to go and ruin everything. But father, why are you telling me this? Not after all I've done, I, I beseech you. Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. But thinking about it, one more thing. <coughs> of course. Anything I could do for you, father. Give me Alizif, if you please. It won't be of any use to you. Is that a joke? Don't try my patience, Louis. Take your wretched grimoire and go choke yourself on it. You can go. Dirty bastard! That's what you had planned for me all along, isn't it? I was never anything more than the envelope for your next life! Oh, please, do let us try and retain some dignity, shall we? Let's not fall prey to being pathetic. We're better than that. You bastard! Don't make this any harder than it already is, please. Harder? Listen, just be grateful that I'm granting you your freedom. Now I'll ask you to leave me and be gone within the hour. Moreover, if I were you, I wouldn't waste a single second in sterile conversation, because I'm not so sure that poison will even let you see the French coast again. I won't let you do it. What on earth are you thinking? That you'll be able to kill me? This is ridiculous, Louis. Come now, be reasonable. You found it. Hmm. Decidedly, you are very resourceful, Louis. You impress me right up to the very last. For Alazif, I am willing to get closer.
No! No, not now! You... You've ruined everything! Like father, like son. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months.